Hello, YouTubers. As we all know, there is a different flex or social standing pertaining to someone who was formerly a president. I mean, it's pretty obvious why. Presidents either came from money or worked their way towards their wealth. And today, we're going to dive into some of the best houses that once belonged to former presidents. Sounds exciting, right? Well, we're right there with you. Before we continue, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss our videos. Today, we will be talking about the top 10 luxurious houses of former presidents. Number 10, Barack Obama, Chicago home. At number 10, we have former President Barack Obama. Before he pursued a life in public service getting elected into the Senate, he bought a lovely home worth $1.65 million in the Chicago Kenwood area. He happened to get it for around $300,000 less than the asking price, a pretty good deal once you see it. The house is on a quarter acre lot that is spread out over 6,199 square feet. It comes with central cooling, a detached garage, and a fireplace much needed for the Windy City. The current value of the property is around $1.885 million. Number 9. Bill and Hillary Clinton, Chappaqua Next at number 9, we have the home of Bill Clinton and his wife, Hillary. In 1999, the Clintons purchased a massive mansion in Westchester County, New York, located near downtown Chappaqua. The house was built all the way back in 1899, making it 100 years apart from the Clintons' purchase, and is around 5,232 square feet with five bedrooms and four bathrooms. The house is valued now at $6.84 million, but the Clintons were able to snag this off the market for a bargain of $5.95 million, nearly a million dollars less. Number 8. Ronald Reagan, Pacific Palisades Next we have Ronald Reagan, from 1957 to 1981. All the appliances in the home were GE, as Reagan was a GE spokesman. Worth around $4 million today, the house is 4,764 square feet with four bedrooms and five bathrooms. When the Reagans settled into the White House, they sold the gorgeous property. Number 7. Gerald Ford, Michigan At number 7, we have Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford's home seems to be legendary. He had a big lot at 8,712 square feet, but surprisingly was estimated at just $246,293. But then there is inflation to consider. Regardless, it makes for an awesome house in which Ford returned to after serving in the Navy. He came back to Grand Rapids, Michigan, where he eventually won his seat in the House of Representatives. Ford and his wife lived in the Grand Rapids home until 1950. Number 6. George W. Bush, Texas At number 6, we have George W. Bush. For those who didn't know, Bush's first home was in Midland, Texas. He purchased the home in 1977 and went on to live there until 1985. He bought the 2,406-square-foot home for an estimated value of $176,212. In 1985, Bush moved to Washington to work for his father's presidential campaign. Number 5. George H. W. Bush, Massachusetts With the halfway mark at number 5, we have George H. W. Bush. After all, you can't talk about the son without mentioning the father. George H. W. Bush was born in Massachusetts. He was famously known for living there for just one year before his family moved out to relocate in Connecticut. The house was rather large at 4,346 square feet with four bedrooms and three bathrooms. What accounts for half a bathroom? That's anyone's guess. Its estimated worth today is $903,956. Number 4. JFK, Brookline, Massachusetts At number 4, we have JFK himself, John F. Kennedy. JFK was born in a suburban home with eight siblings, and that many people surely needed a massive house. The house had a lovely front porch with six bedrooms for the family to stay in. He lived there until he was 10 years old. The house is now worth $1.65 million. Number 3. Bill Clinton, D.C. After moving out of Chappaqua, the Clintons settled in D.C. 
they found a beautiful home of 5,152 square feet that has four bedrooms and seven bathrooms. Located in the Observatory Circle neighborhood, the Clintons paid around $2.85 million for it. It is also conveniently half a mile away from the Vice Presidential Residence located at the Naval Observatory. Number 2. Ronald Reagan, Bel Air Estate After serving his presidential term, Reagan decided to settle down in sunny Los Angeles, California. He settled in a massive 7,192-square-foot property with three bedrooms and six bathrooms. He bought the home for over $3 million. Today, the value is worth double at a whopping $6.3 million. What better way to spend retirement than in LA? Reagan would go on to live his final days in his Bel Air estate as he passed away while at home in 2004. Number 1. JFK – The Kennedy Compound At number 1, we have what is probably the most famous piece of land in the history of real estate. An incredible 105,851 square feet makes up this awesome compound. The Kennedys were known for a lot of things, and their massive home was one of them. It stretched over six acres in Hyannisport, Massachusetts. It is said to be in the center of all Kennedy-owned property, meaning it was surrounded by land that the Kennedys all owned. Today, the house is worth around $4.7 million and is arguably the most famous home of any former U.S. president. That does it for our video. Did you enjoy watching? Know of other homes of former presidents that could have made the list? Drop a comment below letting us know what you think and how you feel. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so you get notified when we upload a new video. Because believe me, we have so many more exciting videos for you to show. Don't go anywhere just yet and make sure to check out the rest of our videos on the channel. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all in a short while.